ship up here. Foxy Brown's on the phone. Hey, Fox. Hey, what's up? To what do I owe this phone call? Because <laughs> you're down with Def Jam, and I know that they hate my show. <laughs> And so, but I figure now, since you're the big mommy holding the purse strings, oh wow, you call your own shots, <laughs> you and your brothers. Well, it's, I mean, it took a lot of hard work. I've been down for six years, and I, I finally just, you know, like I, I basically wanted to call up and just say that what I've been, what I've been preaching for the past six years. Like I guess I was looked at as the rebel of hip hop when I walk out of radio stations or when I don't agree with people. Right. And now that now I took a stand, people are starting to really understand, you know, like how it is. And I just wanted to call up and let people know that this is what I've been trying to do for years. And yeah. I've always got that reputation. But at the end of the day, we made them pay up. Yeah. You know? And so the word was, though, about that concert last night that um, that you got swooped on um, by Kim's people or something like that to either not show, show, or as long as you're calling, cameo. That's crazy. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> You know, you, you, you're, the, you're the heir to the streets. You know what the streets want right now. They're well, right not in now. The streets aren't in that direction, you know. Well, we would love to talk with you here in the studio. <laughs> Is Def Jam going to allow you to come up here? I mean, I'm my own woman, Wendy. At the, you know, at the end of the day, like, nobody has ever been able to conform me. Like, you know that. Yeah. So, if I want to talk to you, I'm going to talk to you. If I don't, I won't. And you know, I've been up at your show, and I've been frank with you. I'm not going to get up. Yeah. I, I'm not going to get up. I'm not ducking you. I'm not going to get up and... Hey, Foxy, let me ask you something, because it happens to so many artists. When when other radio stations find out that you're going to come up to the show, do they two-way you and call you and tell you if you go, we're not playing your music? <laughs> that's the, that, I was just listening to your show. You know, like, that's, I mean, I guess that's just the politics of it, and that's what I just haven't been able to fathom so far, like, getting to the, to, you know, to the nonsense of it. But I just hung up the phone with Nas, and I just wanted to say that I understand. You know, I understand, yeah. like, not taking sides of anybody, but being, being a part of both Jay-Z and a part of Nas. Like, being the only female rapper who was the closest to both of them, I know how it feels. And I know how, how, how Nas feels. I know there's plenty of times where I feel like, wow, your Kim could get up here and say whatever she wants, and then I come up and I'm stifled. Yeah. Like, so I understand, you know, I understand this point, and I'm just in support of him. So, so if whoever Nas... gets upset of that, they just got to get upset, man. I'm, I'm in support of him. If Nas performed last night, would it have been a firm reunion? Ha, ha, ha. See, that was just it. We all were. Damn. Damn. <laughs> Well, how about we do it July 17th at the Hammerstein Ballroom? I heard Nas, I heard Nas agree, so, you know, I mean, hey, if you Whoa. want me to, yeah, I, I, you know, we try to work something out. Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> All right. Hey, Foxy. And thank you for showing love on that silent record, too. I hear you lately. You've been, you know, you, you get fickle sometimes, yeah. but lately you've been... Fox, really? I've I always been a supporter of yours, even when you act bitchy. I do. Uh-huh. I love you, young girl. Never as bitchy as you. <laughs> <laughs> you know this. Well, you know, all right, Wendy, I just want to call. I'm not going to take up your time, but I just want to call and let the people know that what Nas said is definitely real. Like, I mean, I'm not going against anybody. I have a record to, to you know, I have a record that's coming out right. right now, and everybody's been in support of it. But as far as the one-sided and this artist gets favoritism, I understand this point. So, Nas, hold your head. We love you, baby. And to the fans, something big is about to happen. Right? Yeah, and so maybe we can look forward to seeing you July 17th at the Hammerstein Ballroom. All right, show. okay. Okay, all right. All right, uh, all right uh, young girl. Hi, tell, Wendy, take the, tell take your care. brothers I said hi. I will. Gavin is listening too, so I will tell them. Take care. Bye-bye. All right, bye.